Anglo-American platinum accounts for about 40% of the world's newly mined platinum and it has a market cap of 114 billion rand. The group's mining operations are based in the Bushveld complex near Rustenburg. It is 80% owned by Anglo-American and has a surprise to earnings ratio of 31 and a dividend yield of 1.7%. Mm. Looking at anglo Plat, it did come out with a profit warning uh, earlier, I think it was in June, with earnings seen down about 20%. Mm. So really what's happening in the platinum sector being reflected here? Look, they always had the best reserves because Anglo had the money back in the 1960s and before when the platinum mines were being discovered, they had all the mines from diamonds and gold. So they basically rushed out and bought all the farmers' mineral rights. So resources-wise, they've got like, I don't know, 200 million ounces. They produce about two and a half a year. So you can see lots of reserves. Mm -hmm. But the company has been a serial underperformer. Yeah. You know, they are always coming with some excuse. Either the side of the furnace blows up, or the mine doesn't work out well, or they discover they've got too many middle managers, or they develop some new production system with incentives and then it sort of explodes, or the workers are being badly behaved, or the union is fighting with them. So one means or another, they just never seem to be able to meet the market's expectations in terms of either new production or the pace of development or even just the profits of their existing operations. Whether they'll ever be able to fix that, I mean, who knows, but they're into their sort of third or fourth CEO in the last five or six years, yeah. and every new guy that comes on says, I'm really, really going to solve this problem. Anglo platinum uh, underperformer? Yes, and I'd like to put in just to emphasize something that Paul said. That's the labor problem. Mm -hmm. Anglo American have got this reputation of being the most democratic in their treatment of, of their labor uh, force. And what happens, they're the ones that get first hit and hardest by the unions because they think they're a soft target. You can't get, a, get the, the, the union members away from that and that means that they're going to have ongoing labor strife, it's going to push up their unit production costs, it's a, and, and until the whole industry cuts production and, and gets them all, all working together at the same time, it's going to be difficult to make progress. Paul, their parent company are looking to do mm. some sort of operational review of mm. uh, Anglo Platinum. What does it mean for Anglo Platinum? Well, I don't think it really means anything other than that they're going to do their best. Yeah. You know, I mean, they own 80% of it. It's too big and it's too important an asset in their lives to do anything. Mm. You know, people who say, well, they're going to unbundle it. I must say, I don't see that. I think as a company, you know, if you've got an asset that's worth 120 billion rand and used to be worth twice or three times that, then you owe it at least to your shareholders <laughs> to yeah. stick with it. I yeah, think sure. they should actually take advantage of this depressed price to buy out the minorities and to own it in its entirety. Because when you've got 80% of the shares, it's kind of like, well, why do you bother with minorities anyway? Mm. They have already bailed it out and put more capital in and done all sorts of stuff. They've basically branded it Anglo-American up there. So I think it's, it's not really a serious uh, issue that they're going to do anything. So now, is it a time to be buying uh, platinum miners? Looking at uh, Anglo-platinum, not looking pretty cool. Similar chart to what we were looking yeah, at earlier. Yeah, yeah. And if, if you're patient, that's okay. But you know, if we're looking at the possibility that the global economy doesn't recover in the next six to 12 months, and we're going to bumble along, muddle our way through this terrible international debt problem, then there'll be plenty of time to, to cherry pick and find the prices in times of weakness. I would wait. Yes, in the long run, you have to have some because there's huge long-term mm -hmm. potential, time on one side. Okay, here we have it. Hot or not, Paul? I'm not hot on the sector at the moment. And I'm not, in my view, this is not, <laughs> this is not the one I would use to play the recovery either. No, so not hot. Not I'm not hot even lukewarm. No. So Cold you stay. Oh, no. So <laughs> now the sun says it. Not hot on Anglo Platinum.